<laughs> hey guys. Um, hi, long time no see. I just got an email. There was a request to make a video. Um, and I thought, okay. so what just happened is Instagram just said you've reached your limit for the day. <laughs> I, I only allow myself to be on here for 15 minutes sometimes, but um, sometimes I override it and stay on longer. But anyhow, I um, I got a, an email that said, you can you make a video to your fans about um, the cancellation in Toronto? So I have to cancel Toronto. And I thought I could make a video or I can go live and tell them live that, um, I'm really sorry that I can't be in Toronto. I'm, I'm actually really bummed out that I can't be there. We tried to make it work with dates, et cetera. And um, I, can't, I can't swing it, guys. So to all those who were planning on seeing me in Toronto, was it next weekend? This coming weekend? This coming tonight, today, tomorrow. Oh, this weekend, you guys, I am so sorry that I can't be there this weekend. I am really, really sorry. I, um, I'm working and I don't know if you can notice, but they, they colored my hair for this new thing that I'm doing, which I'm really excited about. And I'm excited to share when I'm allowed to share, but, um, they've lightened my hair. So now I'm a light brunette. So anyhow, I'm, I'm here, I'm filming. Um, I'm sorry for the late notice. Some of that was out of my control. Um, but um, to all of those who were looking forward to hanging out this weekend, please accept my deepest apologies that I can't be there with you. I, I love you all so much, like beyond words. And I just thank you so much for your love and support. And I will be in Edmonton though in September. That did not get canceled and it's not a conflict um, with what I'm currently doing. So um, again, I'm so sorry. I love you all. I guess I'll save this video so that way it's, it's considered a video or counts as one. Um, I'll save this live rather, um, but yeah. I haven't been to Toronto in a while and I was really looking forward to going there. Um, every time I've, I've been, I've always had a really, really good time. So ah, I'm kissing Canada and all of you that are attending this weekend, um, I'm there in spirit with you guys. I love you. Thank you. I'm sorry to disappoint. Um, and then the New York one got canceled. I'm like, no, wait, this weekend was New York. Okay, right. Oh, good. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Okay, take two. This weekend, I was supposed to be in New York, but they canceled the convention. And Toronto was the following weekend. I think it was like the 26th or something. So, to those who have bought tickets, um, or plane tickets, if you can get refunded. I really hope you can. Um, I'm very sorry. I, I, I literally couldn't get out of this. Um, I'm working and I'm really grateful to be working, especially after why women kill got yanked. So everything happens for a reason, right? Because now I was available for this new thing that I can't wait to share with all of you when I can share it. So, um, I love, 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 love you all. And, um, I'm looking at some of these comments. Part of me, I should do, I should do a convention in Salt Lake City. I feel like I did one a couple years ago. I know, I feel like it was still even during the pandemic. I remember wearing masks and um, plexiglass, pictures through plexiglass. Um, I love you guys. I miss you guys. This is so nice. I feel like I'm with you know, all of you. There's like 2,600 people here. So 
It'd be nice if we were all in one room, though. But, um, oh, my God. Come back to NYC soon, always. It's my home. And I have a home there, so it's nice. Um, come to San Francisco. Yeah. I was just there. That's right, because I drove up there. I drove up to San Francisco from... Alarms going off. <laughs> and it's like, you need to take your detox tea. I'm like, Ugh. anyway, um, you guys, welcome to my kitchen. I'm doing Dr. Schultz detox, <laughs> just like a five day or I, mean, I once shared this with everybody. I did like a 30 day or something and they even stretched it out to 40 days, but, um, this is just a five day detox and all of it tastes really crappy, but it's good. I'm trying to like just clean the body before I start filming, even though the body's pretty clean, but I had a birthday, remember? So I had some, I had some drinks. <laughs> um, anyhow, I love you all so much. I won't waste anyone's time here. And there's a lot, a lot here that I, I see Brazil is in the house and I might be going, oh, I might be going to DeVille to the film festival. So for all of my fans overseas, that'd be fun. I'm really excited. I'm very proud of that film. It's, it's doing really well. I have yet to see it, <laughs> but I think we're trying to work it out in um for september i think it's like september 5th 6th and 7th or something so i'll most likely be in deville those days which is really fun i'm very excited about that and i love you guys i think i've said that a million times it's weird just talking to myself but talking to you but like there's no real there's feedback here i've been really really well like yeah, good. The puppies are amazing. Life is beautiful. Um, thank you. Thank you. Hearts to all of you. Thank you. This was a major change. It took like 11 hours. And people might not see a difference, but there's a major difference. I'm, I'll post something tomorrow with the talented colorist whom I love so much. She's amazing and a dear friend. And she did an incredible job. We, we were saying that this is her Picasso because it looks so freaking natural. So anyway, I'm really excited, guys. And <laughs> someone's like, I don't see the difference. Well, that's the point. It was just before it was super, super, super dark, like super almost black, my hair. And now it's like, let's see if you can see it better in the light. It's like gold. Yeah. Anyway, I love you guys. Thank you all for everything, always. And um, I am now going to eat my green soup. Yay. Um, <laughs> and, and drink some really nasty tea with really gross tonics and tinctures in it. I um, and there's a drought, guys, so everyone please be mindful that we are in a drought, so don't waste any water, <laughs> okay? <laughs> and and think of everyone around the world who's suffering and send love and prayers, okay, like I do, to all of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for this time. <gasps> I know I do want a burger. Ugh, why'd you write that? Mm. I just had to freeze the meat. All this meat that I bought. I was, I was so excited. Because I realized that on this cleanse, animal product is not agreeing with me. So I'm staying clear of animal product. At least for five days. Anyhow, I love you guys. And um, enjoy the thunderstorm in Detroit. <laughs> I'm just reading. Please send some of that over here. We love a thunderstorm. My God, I'm going to do a rain dance later. All right, guys. I love you. I love you. I love you. And thank you. And there's so many fun things here. What's this? 
Maybe I should get into this a little bit. Will I ever come to Norway or Scandinavia? Hope so. Who is my favorite person on set of Once Upon a Time? That's like not so unfair. Um, I had I have a few, but I think the obvious one is Rebecca because she's like family, really. Um, when I ever do a convention in the UK again, stay tuned. Hopefully, I can get a live chat with you someday. Can I say hi to Tr? Does that say Trill? What's up, Trill? Um. I don't, I haven't been invited back to Sao Paulo, so I don't think so. Am I married? <laughs> no. I don't know if I want to do that again. Um, let's see. Dubai. Hi, Dubai. Been to Dubai. Um, let's see. <laughs> oh, Okay. I think I said hi to Tyrell already. Um, hola, como estas? Um, I hope you're doing well. Thank you. This is thank you guys. There's so many here. I love you so much. And there's thank you. Hi, Jimena. Jimena. Um, I was prepping for WWK season two, season three, and my character's vibe was um, very, they were saying like it was, I don't know, it didn't feel right to me, but they were saying like she was kind of like Julia Roberts in the 80s. And I was like, oh yeah. So I cut six inches off my hair, which I guess is a good thing because now this other thing requires like, I think hair down to here would have been too much. So this is perfect. I think it works. Okay, let's see. A few more questions. Okay, answered those and randomly scroll. Why it got canceled? I have no idea. You're going to have to ask Viacom and CBS and Paramount Plus because it's like conflicting answers. Have I been to Poland? No. No. Um, I'm doing a movie, so there, I'm really excited. And yeah, big tease with someone a lot of people love. Can I, hi, Melissa. Hi, hi, Rocio, 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 Rocio. Caitlin, hi. <laughs> Phoenix, Arizona. I've been there. I have family in Arizona. Hey, Jocelyn. Hi, Anna. Un, be un beijo. Te amo. Uh, Colombia. Yes. I love Portugal and I miss it. And I often fantasize about moving there. Hola, Argentina. <laughs> Maria Melo, como estas? Thank you. Much love and to love. Much love to London. <laughs> um, I don't. I don't know what the, what the situation is with plexiglass these days. I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna do. Okay. Oops. Sorry, guys. That was kind of annoying. Yeah, lights better. Sorry. <laughs> oh my God. Could someone just buy a house for me in Italy, please? I'm so ready to go. Oh, I was invited to Italy twice this year. Navi and her family invited me. And then my friend Johnny um, and Leo invited me. Yeah. Is this working? It's like super glitchy. Um, hi, Anne. Hi, Shani. <laughs> um, Akira. Hi, Akira. Mm. Oh my God, I'm just 
realizing that people are going to freeze frame me eating this soup and it's going to be like a really gross image of me eating like exorcist vomit colored soup. <laughs> I mean, whatever. What's up, Kentucky? James from Arkansas. I feel like I know you. We did the distracted boy. Oh, yeah. That was a good one. I directed that shot. <laughs> mm. Thanks. I feel pretty awesome in my 40s. I'm just really saying hi to a lot of people. Yes, I would perform on Broadway. 100%. Um, not expounding on that, but we're, mm, I don't really have like a fan mail place anymore. So I guess if anyone wants to give me anything, maybe at a convention or give it to a friend who's going to be at a convention. This year was slow with conventions. I took a, a little hiatus. I had some family stuff I was dealing with. Hi, Sky. Oh, hold on. Hi, Sky. <laughs> that was more like Evil Queen. Maria Melo. Ireland. Okay, so what's your favorite character you've played? I don't really have, I think a lot of you know that I don't really have favorites. It just, it's like, I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not that kind of gal. Um, cause I get so much out of everything. So it's like really hard to choose, but, um, I love swing town and, and the queen obviously, cause I played her for so long. And so like that in itself was pretty freaking remarkable being able to play a character for that many years. It took me a long time to shake her off, but Hey Des, what's up? Taylor. Joanna. <laughs> I said, Sydney. Yes, I am excited for scrap. I'm excited. I'm. It's so cool when you do these little indies and you have no idea where they're going to go and you just see like the people behind them and Vivian is just so wonderful and so is Anthony and I just loved working with all of them. It's probably the most like calm and relaxing set I've been on in years. Like, truly years. Um, super, super low budget. And yet, one of my, one of my favorite environments to, to ever work in. So, it says a lot. It's about the people, right? Favorite series at the moment. I don't know. I'm not really watching a lot of TV these days. I've been watching a lot of movies and, like... YouTube things, but not like TV shows these days. I kind of took a break. It's a summer and I've been outdoors a lot and taking the dogs out on these like crazy excursions throughout Canada, <laughs> road trips and stuff. Um, okay, I have to end this before my next snooze alarm goes off. Because I've snoozed now for a minute. Hi, boobs. Okay. I love you guys. Wow. You all hung in there with me. Thank you. Thank you. So the point of this video was to say, I'm sorry, I'm canceling for Toronto. Don't hate me. Don't hate anyone there. We'll figure it out. Um, I hope they'll figure it out. I hope everyone can get reimbursed somehow. That's totally out of my control, as is pricing and all that. A lot of people were saying that I charge a lot, but honestly, like none of that's in my control. I'm not a, I'm not the promoter. So they set those prices and I guess it's sometimes different at every convention. So I'm, I'm sorry about that. Um, but I, I do hope that you get reimbursed and um, I hope that maybe you can just change your ticket and go to Edmonton, which I don't think is as fun of a city but I'll be there, so we'll make it fun, okay? Love you all. Have a beautiful, beautiful night.
and day, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Bye.